touchless car wash in Rhonda. Second time. Now there's a little LED here. You can't really see it because of the LED lights themselves and the water on the windshield, but it actually gives you a step by step of what's happened to your car. Got the operators here who told me when to come in, how to follow the lines. Uh, now there's a countdown going on. I guess it's allowing uh, the second uh, foam rinse to sit for about 20 seconds. And I'm assuming, yep, now that's shifted to pressure wash. say typically I do my own uh, car wash uh, just right in the garage just kind of something I've always been used to uh, but just wanted to try this out uh, I can honestly say it's been maybe about six minutes or so maybe seven okay now it's doing uh, color bubbles okay so there's basically three washing cycles that happen and in between each washing cycle there's been a rinse so we'll see what it looks like my car has been fairly dirty uh, for the past few days um, it's rainy season um, uh, since what, thursday of last week uh, so about four days ago um, i've been driving without a car wash um, going into some interesting places, parking some interesting places, uh, so definitely I had uh, some buildup of uh, dirt on my car, and my car is black, so definitely shows. So once this wash is done, which I'll venture to say it's probably going to take no more than 10 to 12 minutes, uh, we'll see what the car looks like. Give you my opinion, my rating, uh, especially in comparison to what I usually get done by hand. Let's see, you've got nice pressure, definitely taking care of all the uh, soaps and suds. Alright, so now it's showing as a wax option now. It's a light mist steam going over the car. Mm, just very lightly, and uh, if I forgot to mention, this is a touchless wash. So there are no brushes, no bristles, no um, chamois towels, or anything like that that are uh, coming in contact with my car. It is completely just liquid. 
I did notice when I pulled up though, they do have microfiber towels, which uh, I did bring my own just in case, but uh, they have the microfiber towels here. So that is a definite plus. And uh, the fact that this is right around the corner from my house, this goes well, I may not be washing my car too much more. Not manually, anyway. Now we've shifted to air drive. Once again, sorry, it, uh, you can't really make that out on the screen, but you can see how everything's being blown away. One thing I did not mention before was the fact that um, there was a pre-rinse for the undercarriage that happened, so I guess they're de definitely taking into consideration the, uh, the amount of dirt that'll build up on your, uh, on the undercarriage of your car. So, okay, it says cleaning completed. All right, I'm pulling out. Let's see what we got. Trusty tip, always tip well, that's one thing people definitely know. Um, I make sure, I don't know if it's not customary or what, but I always like to make sure I give you guys a tip for uh, any services, whether it's waitresses, let me turn this down, whether it's waitresses, waiters, uh, parking attendants, security guys, uh, all that kind of stuff. Just, I think uh, I've been blessed to be able to make this move to even get here. So I want to take care of people here that uh, you know may not have uh, the opportunities that I had uh, prior to arriving. So, all right. Mm, let's pop out and take a look. <laughs> Looks nice. He said it's on the front, but yeah, for the most part, this is a pretty dope watch. They're still uh, getting it dry, but yeah. And this was for the price of ten dollars. Might be a little bit expensive. But this is probably the first uh, automated and touchless car wash I think that I, I'm aware of here in Rhonda. So um, wanted to check it out, support local business right out here past the Simba Center. I think uh, I will be back. Let y'all just check it out. See, they're getting on the inside of the door. Uh, all the nice uh, stuff there. I think I could probably maybe even get some uh, 
tire wax, uh, which I have at home, but uh, they might even have that here. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know. My time's valuable, so uh, getting this done instead of me sitting outside my driveway getting it done, I think this is better option. So right out here is Simba Center. And this is what it looks like on the outside. Boom. All right. Catch y'all on the next one.